It's dark in here, and we may die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh man, this must have been the prototype for the world of imagination at Epcot. Oh dude, someone's blown in their milk again. I hate that. Bubbling up like all this. Oh hey, that was a good game for Super Nintendo. Ah, Flushing, New York. Who the hell wants to be there? Behold the 60s! Oh goody, this is going to be sponsored by General Motors? I'm so excited! Yay. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Here are your fellow passengers, the people from the Far Side comics. You are about to take a journey out of this world into the world of the future. Yeah, the world Apple's going to make chairs now. Forget the people around you. You are entering Futurama. Okay, so where's Bender? Have you ever wondered where we will find the food, clothing, and shelter? We will no, because I get it at the grocery the store. I don't have to wonder ahead. about shit. In the timeless distances of outer space? Perhaps. No, nah, not with Darth Vader the out there. We're fucked. Is already helping us penetrate the silent darkness of space. Okay, you cannot say penetrate. How many times do I gotta say this shit? Tiny step into this vast unknown. And yeah, throwing erector sets out into space. It's the first step. Didn't say it was a good step, but it was the first step. Pioneers. But what about our own Earth? Are there not still resources here to meet the oh, needs of the God, I want to watch my soaps. What about that great unexplored continent at the bottom of our Earth? You mean North Dakota? Larger than the United States and Europe combined. Oh, so North and South Dakota. Already, Antarctica has become a great scientific laboratory for men of all nations. As demonstrated here Other with micro machines. Land areas, rich with natural resources. Antarctica is but one area of great promise for the future. Unless you wake up what the Alien the vs. Others? Predator temple, then you're what about fucked. The sea? Is she on fire? sailed its surface and fished its depth. But at the very bottom is a land of undreamed of abundance. But here's what we think. As you can tell, it includes anal over. beads. The long and silver there variety. There are and minerals carried by submarine trains to process stations on the coast. Yeah, let me know how that works there out. The water itself to be drained from the sea and made precious rain. Under the there sea. In desert lands into fertile land. Um, your Christmas lights are still there on. There will even be new areas for living and working. You know, in your bathtub. A whole new dimension of life for people of the future. Now, consider the thick, lush lands of the equator. You know, the shit we've already Here slashed and burned. In its greatest abundance. Okay, she's definitely tripping now. Technology has finally led the way into the wild profusion of the jungle world. One day, this land will be transformed into land for farms and pastures. You don't have to dream it. It's already From been done. From the of equatorial jungles to the barrenness of great mountain ranges. see Uncle's face in that. The future offers great promise. Ooh, it's like watching a catheter. Once barriers to man's progress. The mountains will soon it's be traversed by multiple what you can do with huge piles of shit to make them look like mountains. And cut through towering walls of granite. Yep, totally gonna, gonna do that. Stream of minerals and other natural resources to the thriving industries of tomorrow. I'm pretty sure this is the vision Highway Kubrick had in mind when he was doing the end of, of 2001. Land. One day to be made fertile again by waters pumped from sea and river, from dam and mountain streams. You can't say dam in 1964, you fuck! Of agriculture and industry will lead inevitably to the metropolis of tomorrow. So am I playing ActRaiser or SimCity 2000 right city. now? The core. In and around great cities like this will live many of the people. Oh yeah, it looks great. Flat. Limitless hope and promise. And just like in 2001, we've got four fucking monoliths Only that'll make us all go crazy. The kitchen of the future. Uh, where are we going with this? Hey, Sully, you mind moving Remember the, the stinking window back? You visited earlier today. 
No. Wonderful new concepts you saw in the kitchen. What cheap tin yes, cabinetry? I couldn't believe it. That yeah, the size of your cabinet. beehive is it's enormous. Hard to believe there actually is an oven that can cook a roast in minutes. Yeah, let me know when that happens. And why did you roast a turd? In less time than it takes to carve the roast. Do you have any idea what's going to happen when those potatoes come out? They're going to explode. And remember that new idea for the family that enjoys casual living. Uh, you mean every last person on the planet? Into a game room or out onto the patio. Perfect. Man, it doesn't even have an Xbox. Cool for informal entertaining. <laughs> because that's yeah, what you need in the living room with the kids. Idea. Booze! Now let's continue our journey into imaginative design and new concepts from the far corners of the world. I'm imagining how she got her hair coiffed right now. Yes, the far corners such as Italy where Geppetto is making his new eye boy. A candle over a bottle? That is brand new technology. Right. Just like being on the Mediterranean. Good heavens. With wood I paneling? Yep, this is the future. How wonderful. It looks like you just robbed a bunch of props from the Rainforest oh, Cafe. Yummy. It's a wall-mounted oven. What insanity! An electric oven. It's so almost dreamable! Beautiful. Yeah, none of this food is actually real. It's actually plastic. It's amazing what you can do with that shit nowadays. Yes, the future is bright. Women will not go beyond the kitchen! Jesus Christ. My goodness. How can so much frozen food fit into such a small space? Because it's not really no food. Either. It's frozen, yeah, but it's not food. Okay, a lazy Susan gone crazy. Huh, chocolates! Cause I'm a woman! You need two damn ovens? Just look at how much this dishwasher holds. It's amazing. We still have to pre-wash before we put shit in there, but it's amazing. Yes, it's silver. It's been around for a while, last I checked. Oh, that's an interesting looking ashtray. Well, I must Oh, she's say. practicing to being a mime's I wife. I am getting around. Oh, I bet you are, lady. I can sure use a good cup of tea about now. With some Irish cream. You put up some cheap lattice fencing and it's exotic future! My, what a beautiful kitchen. Tragedy, I'm legally blind. Oh, you can get that for two fifty down at Lowe's. Look what's over here. Not that I want to, but you're gonna force me. How convenient. You know, laundry. Because when I have a man, he's just a filthy bore. And I gotta clean all of his shit. Even my most delicate things. Including my Naga High negligee. Christ, lime green. This is the 60s. How simple these controls are. You know, if you enjoy playing with synthesizers on top of doing your laundry. <laughs> it happened again. And yes, I'm Britney Spears oven. now. Well, look at that. A second oven. How it's insanity, I tell you. What the Pull fuck? I mean, yeah, right as soon as you're done cooking, just pull it right out, get third degree burns on your hands, you're fine! Oh, I know what you can do with that bamboo, sister. Did we just wander into Aaron Hansen's house? Well, this looks like interesting shit. Can I jump cut it too? Why is she walking like someone tied her shoes together? Ah, 
there's something I like. The light at the end of this misogynistic tunnel. Lots of refrigerator space and stuff. Well, yeah, it looks like the same refrigerator I had when I was an undergrad. Nothing in it. You know, if you pulled your pants up, you might be able to walk a little bit faster. My, but something smells good over here. It could be the pink slip that General Motors oh, exec should be getting for this shit. Ooh, that's hot. Now where the hell are we being racist? Oh. Cause this is the future. Cobblestone in Mexico! Good god, I'll fuck mighty. Arriba! Okay, that's not a real cat, lady. <laughs> it's like I never lived in a cave before! With a conventional oven. Alright, Carmen Miranda, figure your shit out. Cause I sure as shit can't. Yes, in the future there will be wooden spoons! It's a miracle of modern technology. Okay, I don't think this is for the ladies at this point. I think this is for the gentlemen who have had to sit here and watch this shit. But what do I know? I wasn't alive in 1964. You know, I don't remember the April O'Neil part being so boring in the Coming Out of Their Shells tour. But it's better than skipping stones. An air conditioner! Hot damn, this is the future! What, did she die? What the fuck? Hey, Mom! Mom? Oh, God, I forgot I have children. Shit. Who knew fantasies could exfoliate your skin so well? I'm gonna go audition to become Wilma Flintstone. It sucked. My family will never believe me. Yeah, how did you hey, get an you oven in the bricks? Coming right up. How does it look? Delicious. Louis Anderson in his first speaking role. Jesus Christ, this really is the Flintstones! What the hell is that? A stegosaurus tail! What the hell is it, honey? And you can tell us about going back to the World's Fair today. Oh, he's progressive, he's helping her. Everything I saw was out of this world. But still not out of this kitchen. But there's progress. Frigidaire had their ass involved? Oh fuck them.